In today's video, I'm going to show you how to save each individual layer in a Photoshop file as its own separate file. I'll also show you how to open existing files as layers in Photoshop, whether those files are already open in Photoshop or saved on your computer. You'll be able to do it all in just a few minutes. Now, there are a million different use cases for this, but I've listed a few of them in the description below. So let's say you've got this project open and you've got several different layers, but you need to be able to save each one as its own separate file. This could not be easier. All you do is go to File, Export, and select Layers to Files. Now, I want to convert all of my layers, so I'll uncheck Visible Layers Only. If you just want your visible layers, go ahead and check that. And delete the File Name Profile section. You won't be needing anything there. Then select Browse to select the folder you want to save these files to. Hit Run. At this point, Photoshop is just going to analyze each individual layer and the name of that layer. Click OK. And now you can see Photoshop has saved each layer as its own separate file with the same name as the layer that it corresponds to. And now let's switch gears a little bit and talk about how to open files as layers in Photoshop. Now, the first way I'm going to do this is when the files are already open. So you can see I've got all of these different photos open in each their own individual windows. But I want to be able to open them up as layers into one file. All I'm going to do is click on File, scroll down to Scripts, and from there, choose Load Files into Stack. I'm going to choose Add Open Files, since the files I want to open up as layers are already open. And then Photoshop is going to remind you that you have to make sure you've saved your documents first before they can be merged, and then just click OK. And now Photoshop is just grabbing all of those already open files and opening them up as layers into one individual file. You'll notice that they're all in the same size that they were before and I can click these layers off. And now I've got one file with each one of those other photos open as individual layers within that file. And now let's say you want to open files as layers, but the files aren't open. Instead, they're saved on your computer. Just do the same thing as before. So file, scripts, and again, choose load files into stack. Click on browse and choose the files you want to open as layers. I'm going to check the box that says attempt to automatically align source image, and I'll show you what that does. So here again, Photoshop is opening up the files as layers. They're each on their own individual layer, and you can see that Photoshop has attempted to line them up as much as possible. And you can see that it's a little more apparent in the grass, where it almost looks like the grass flows from one of the images to the next. It's just trying to line up similar pixels. Now I'm just going to show you one last option. Now we're going to do that same thing again. So File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And again, I'm going to browse and load the files that I want to open as layers. But this time, I'm also going to choose Create Smart Object after opening layers. And you'll see what it does. It opened up the layers that I selected, but this time they're all on the same layer. It's a smart object. And to be perfectly honest, I've never used this particular technique. I can't for the life of me think of a use case for this, but there clearly is one. And maybe let me know in the comments if you've ever needed this particular edit where they're both on the same layer. I'd be curious to know. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Please remember to subscribe and check out this video that YouTube thinks you might like. I don't know. It might be good.